What's up guys, live here with Pro Play Games after the National Championship Qualifier. We're here with sponsored 18 player Patrick Hoban. What's up, he finished in, what'd you finish? Top 32. Top 32 of the Nationals. Yep. What were you playing, man? Uh, I was playing a kind of different deck. It was Draco Zoo, but it's like very different than all the other um, Draco Zoo decks out there. Most of them only play a couple masterpieces and like one spell and one trap. Um, we went way harder than that. Uh, finished a little shorter than like where I would have liked, but still not too bad overall. Um, definitely a big shout out to Jay. Um, we worked on the deck a lot together. Probably could have done it without him. Um, but yeah, we get into the deck. All right, let's check it out. So the first cards are two masterpiece. Um, this card's insane. Um, Here's who just can't really out this in general, in, especially game one. Um, then two. Dino and three Ignis. What made you go with the? Uh, usually you see three of the Dino and maybe two of the Ignis. What made you go with this? Yeah, line? so well, usually you do in like the pure builds. In the Draco builds, you mostly only see like just Masterpiece, but like the little guys are just like so good. Um, this card's amazing going second. It's it's like every, it does everything you want it to do going second. So you can go like activate one of the extra um, draw spells and after they go like dry an emerald set back or whatever right and you just like tribute the draw spell and um summon ignis and, Ign and then the um spell that you tribute will pop back row so you hit like you know strike or whatever i hit like i don't know strike's not a great example but i can uh dry and strike but whatever it pop like barrier you know whatever they set and then you attack the dryden and then they dry and pop it and then you go search the card that draws for every card that went to the grave this turn so you sent the spell and the trap now to the grave so it's like you you popped a macro you dealt with dry it you drew two cards and you, you haven't normal someone yet um so this card's actually just like ridiculous um the only thing that's bad about it is it sucks going first, um, but like, I mean, all your other cards in your deck are good going first, so it's fine. And this card's particularly good going first. This one's a lot better going first. Um, but yeah. I wanted, I, I figured if I was winning like a bunch of dice rolls, then I would like be doing well anyway. So I really wanted to build the deck more for going second, um, which is good because I only won like two dice rolls the entire tournament, so good thing. Um, then for the zoos, I played two rats. Uh, I didn't play very many zoos. Um, I didn't play one Webtail, one Thoroughblade, and two Ram Ram. Um, I don't know, you just don't need a bunch. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a Fusion Substitute deck. I'm drawing a bunch of cards. Like, uh, I, I'm gonna have access to like the cards that I'm playing for the most part, and especially when you uh, draw two, with, like, and then get to play. It, it, a lot of times you're drawing three with this card too. Um, between these and like Desires, you just see like your zoo cards. You see, you see like all the cards basically. Um, so I feel like you don't need a lot. Plus, you don't want multiples um, of really any of them. Ram Ram's probably the best one just because it combos with Diagram. Um, but I don't like this card very much, so I didn't want to play more than one of it. Um, I, I wanted like half another zoo. Like I wish. <laughs> but I felt like when I added another zoo, I saw it too, like, I saw multiples too often, but then when I, um, played, like, this amount, I saw, like, no zoos, like, slightly less too often, so it was, like, it was weird. I, I wanted to find that balance, and I'm not sure it exists. Um, but, yeah. So the last monster I play is Maxi. Um, this card's good. I don't, I didn't play any other hand traps. Um, just because Ash is terrible, it doesn't, like, do anything for Spear Zoo. And Ghost Ogre, they just have so many outs to now. Like they have between like Econ, um, Shuffle Reborn, Barrage, My Body. It's just like Soul Charge. They're like infinite outs to Ghost Ogre now, so it like never ends their turn. Like I think it was better um, a little while ago, but then now since everybody's playing on like Shuffle Reborn and everything, uh, I don't think it's like I, I feel like they just out it every time. Um, then I played. Um, the draw spells. These are the best cards in the deck, both of them. Um, I mean, honestly, like they all have three effects. They're like pop a card. This one's uh, pot of avarice. This one's super rejuve. And then they're all brilliant fusions. Like this card was. All of these cards were insane. Like it was so common to draw like two or three. Um, and anytime you played against a Draco deck that wasn't that was like you know the two masterpiece deck or like the pure deck, you just blow them out because you draw cards off their cards. Um, and I drew two to three with this card, like, every single game. It was insane. 
Um, and then the other spells, Desires. This card's very, very good as well. That was three Desires. You... Uh, big fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bug it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it. I feel like it doesn't matter if you draw two, because it's like, if you draw two, you play it and you're still at the same number of cards as you would have been had you not had the second one in your hand and just not had it at all. But like, I'm trying to see Desires more often than that. Turn one. Yeah, turn one. And it's not even bad to really play two in the deck. Um, like, if you end up drawing two, yeah, you can't play it immediately. Um, but you can kind of comfortably play it the next turn. Because you kind of take all your zoos out of your deck and you really focus on the Draco engine after your first turn. Um, like, the entire point of the deck is to throw the Draco cards into the back row to resolve your zoo plays. And then once the zoo plays go um, through, all the turns after that, you start playing the Draco engine again. Um, and the Draco engine's so big that, like, it's not like you're banishing your couple zoos and your Draco engine's big, so you can't really banish them all. So even play, having to activate a second desire is usually not that bad in the deck. Um, and three diagram. This card's really good. I thought that the best deck would be whatever could use this card the best. Um, and three terraforming. I almost cut some number of these cards, like just because double field spell is like really good but it's really awkward in some hands too uh what i mean by that is just like it can't just be like msd for dried in where it's like activate field spell you know set a card and they go try to pop so it's like good if you have two right but then there are other hands where it's like when it's just like resolving you can't get your suit plays through where it's like you have to activate field spell over field spell and it's not ideal so like i was thinking about cutting them but ultimately like it just searches everything and it's the one card that works with both engines of the deck so that you can pop ram ram with it um so i decided to max out on it then triple barrage and card's insane as well and i played book it's just really versatile um game one i I cited out basically every game, not because it's like not good against certain decks, but just because like this is like the most middle ground card for game one. Um, you know, flipping the Dryden down, or I can you know set it and use it defensively. It just does the most game one. But then I feel like when I'm siding, I'm siding into cards that are like more specific to the matchup. So I'd rather take out like the generic cards, and I don't want to leave in like too many defensive cards because then my hands will get cloggy and I won't have enough combo cards. So I ended up siding it out like most games, but. I think it's the best like game one kind of card. And then the last two spells are too tinky. And yeah, I definitely wouldn't play three of this. Um, between like heritage and desires, like you see so many cards that I don't really want three ofs of once per turn effects unless they're like really, really good cards. Like Unless they're like super impactful, like Barrage and Desires are super impactful, right? But like, you know, searching a monster that you have to normal summon isn't like super, super impactful, so I don't really want to play a once per turn effect of like at three. Because I feel like I'd see it too often. Um, and when I was trying it, I didn't see it too often. And then for the traps, I played Triple Barrier. This card's insane against Zoo, it's just like skip your turn. Um, and the coolest thing I think about this deck is that this card is that this deck could play around barrier. Like when they flip barrier on you, it may make like a card or two dead in your hand, but you can still like use all the Draco cards and like keep pushing with them. Um, whereas like the pure zoo deck, it just goes like set traps pass kind of thing, and that wasn't really what I wanted to do. Um, so, but this card's even good against zoo going second, honestly, because. Um, like, it's just skip your turn, so it, it, just buys, it just buys you another turn where you can't die, and they, like, can't make more Dryden, so can't really advance their game. Um, then, for the last traps, I played two Return and one Apocalypse, or whatever it's called. And, yeah, these cards are really good. Um, I'm trying to tribute on my opponent's turn. And the Call of the Haunted effects pretty on point, too. Like, when it gets down to the grind game, the zoos just can't really deal with, like, monsters coming back every single turn that are, like, bigger than their entire deck. Um, so I like that a lot. And then, but I still wanted to play the one of this for variety, um, just so that I can, you know, activate both tribute effects in one turn. Um, or if they have, like, Cosmic Cyclone, or, you know, if they pop it, when they're popped, you can only destroy a monster once per turn with each one. So if I only played this, then once it was destroyed, I can never destroy another monster with, uh, even if I had an additional return. So I wanted a little bit of variety there. And then for the extra deck. That was what, 40 cards? Yeah, it was 40. Um, for the extra deck, 
played two broad bull. Um, never needed three, especially with a smaller zoo engine. And then I played, um, it is basically like a pure zoo extra deck, because the Draco cards don't use your extra deck. Um, so I played three Shack of Nine, three Drynet, two Tiger, uh, whatever that thing is, Hammer Kong. I played Tornado Dragon, one Emerald and one Dweller. Um, I was debating between the second Emerald and Dweller um, because they're, it's a combo deck, so like you do want to like draw cards. Um, so when I was testing, a lot of times what I would do is instead of when I had like Rat Barrage, instead of making like um, Dryad Emerald Tornado Dragon, I would make the second Emerald because I'm playing so many like two card combinations that like whatever card. I, I draw is like almost guaranteed to be good, especially after I've taken all the zoo cards out of my deck. Um, but then I ended up being kind of scared of like, because I kept like, I kept destroying everybody in the lobby, so I got kind of scared because everybody was like switching to this deck. Um, so then I really just wanted to play Dweller in case I played Mirrors. And I did play Mirrors. I played, um, I played two Mirrors, like with the baby dragons and the zoo, or the baby um, Dracos and the zoos and everything. Um, so I'm glad I played Dweller, it actually did come up a good amount. And then for the side deck, I played Triple Ash and one Ogre. Um, this card's like really, really bad against Zoo, but it's like I really wanted it against the uh, Drago deck just because since Heritage draws cards for whatever uh, spell trap and monsters are sent from both player sides of the field, what ends up happening is it's just like you tribute. Uh, the trap and like a monster for masterpiece and, you, and they like pop it and then they play heritage and you know They probably already played their own so they end up like drawing three cards So heritage is just like suit. It's just like how you win um, Anything with Dracos in it and I really wanted to be able to stop their Draco cards um, So I said at three ash just for any kind of decks that had Draco in it um, and then one ogre as well for the same reason, just to hit heritage because I wanted it like slightly more often. I thought about <coughs> I thought about doing two and two since they're once per turn effects, um, but I just decided being able to hit like desires and terraforming as well as um, the heritage was more worth it. So I decided to go three and one. Then two flying sea. Uh, this card sucks. I regret signing it. <laughs> um, this thing. I decided a third dino because, like I said, the um, Ignis is really bad when you're going first. Um, like, searching a spell doesn't do anything on your opponent's turn. So, I side out two Ignis when I go first, but I, then I don't want my Draco count that low for the number of spell and traps I'm playing because the spell and traps don't do anything if you don't have any of these guys. So, I needed a card to side in to make my spell and traps live when I wanted to side out two Ignis going first, so I decided to side every time I went first. Um, I played two Cosmic Cyclones. I was debating between Twin Twister and this for a while, but um, I ended up going with this just because it's like there are so many two card combinations in your deck that you don't really want to be like pitching extra cards. Um, yeah, that was the only real reason for that. And then I played two enemy controller for Pure Zoo. Um, this card was good. I didn't want to do three because uh, since you're drawing so many cards, like you're, it, it's like you're playing the Norden deck all over again. Um, yeah, you really just like see them and you would see multiples, so I didn't really want to do too many three ofs in general. Because um, I felt like I would just see the cards. Um, the only exceptions being are when it's like a total blowout, which is what Deflector is. Um, I guess anything with Draco in it, like, it just kind of, it's like barrier for Draco cards, basically. Um, so I really want to decide this in any time they had that. Good against Barrage, Twin Twister, yep. uh, uh, Cosmic Cyclone too, Tinky, right? Chalice, uh, Cyclone, Diagram, Heritage. Uh, yeah, it's good against just insane, cards. insane, yeah. It's good against a lot of the... Uh, anything that's in the Draco deck, it's good against. Um, and then the last card I decided was Imperial Order, just for when I went first. Um, and I stole a couple games with it. <laughs> proud of that. Yeah, so proud. All right, so um, yeah, you did. A, you had a fantastic run, a uh, really deep run. What what you end up uh, playing in uh, top thirty two? I mean, uh, top sixty four. Sorry. In top sixty four, I just played against the Draco Zoo deck, um, and my heritage was better than his. <laughs> and then in top thirty two, I lost to Paleo. Um, he put grass game one. 
and that sucked. Uh, and they gave too many dry shoes, so. Happens, but all good. Wish him the best. It was actually really cool. Pretty good season from you. Uh, now we're ending the uh, zoo area. We're going into a new, uh, totally new game uh, with link summoning. So uh, I can't wait. Absolutely to no idea what they do, but I'll, now it's time to learn. Now that this is over. Well, we're excited to see what the innovator has in mind. I'm sure we'll be coming out with some crazy combos with all these link summons. I just learned link summoning today. So if you guys haven't checked it out. Yeah, <laughs> make sure you guys uh, learn. I know they're teaching it at North American Qualifiers. I'm sure they'll be teaching it uh, in many other places as well. So thank you again for the deck profile. Fantastic season from you, Patrick Hoban. Um, still the greatest of all time, of course, by a long shot on Champ Trade. Uh, pleasure having you with us, and I uh, hope to see you again soon, man. Thanks, Peace. Man.